What's going on guys? Dave here and in today's video you're going to learn 10 must-haves for a bachelor pad that women absolutely love. Because listen man, you can do all the right things to attract a girl and bring her back to your place but if your apartment sucks then ain't no magic going to happen anywhere up in there. So you ready to turn your apartment into a panty dropper? Let's do it. Oh, what's up, man? We back in my humble abode over here in Mexico City, and it's time for number one, and that is cleanliness. This is the first thing women notice when they walk into your place. She's not gonna be comfortable in a messy, disorganized apartment. But on the other hand, if you get a clean place, she's gonna think, all right, this guy takes care of himself, maybe he can take care of me too, you know what I'm saying? So you know what that means, man. Don't leave a messy bed like this one. Make sure to make it before you leave the house. Like so. Beautiful. And you better believe she's gonna judge you for all that stuff you have on your bathroom counter and the gross sink you got going on and the toilet seat being up. So take care of that stuff too, man. It's actually pretty simple to do, man, and really quick. All you gotta really do is just kinda like take your hand and boom. And then boom. And just like that, bro, she's gonna fall in love. Well, she's not gonna love you just yet because you're also gonna have to clean up some of the other stuff around the other rooms as well. Sort of like this. Boom. And this. Boom. And finally, man, make sure to wash the dishes and take out the trash. So you know, you're just gonna do this and this. You can still keep this protein on the counter though, you know, just so she knows you get big. And by the way, man, if you wanna be able to bring more sexy girls back to your place, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications because I put out new videos just like this every Tuesday and every Friday to help you talk to girls and crush it at life. All right, man, number two is a chill area. The chill area is basically where you hang out, watch movies, and pretty much chill out. This makes it a lot easier to have girls over because you know you've got an easy spot to hang out and relax with her. Plus, it's perfect for Netflix and chilling. <laughs> And you really only need two things for a solid chill area, and that's pretty much a comfortable couch, like this one, and a nice TV, like that one. And you good, bro. All right, man, number three is a comfortable bed. Listen, man, this ain't the Stone Age, and she ain't Wilma Flintstone. She don't wanna sleep on a rock, or do any other activities on one for that matter, so make sure you get a comfortable bed. This is gonna make the sex a lot better, and it's gonna make your life a lot better too. You're gonna be well rested and feeling good. Aside from the actual comfort of the mattress, make sure to get some fluffy sheets and pillows up on there too. Number four is warm lighting. Now listen man, if the inside of your apartment looks like the inside of a Forever 21, then the only thing she gonna be shopping for is a new man. So swap out those super bright fluorescent type of bulbs for some warmer LED lights. The warmer lighting is more intimate and it's great for setting the mood. And if you wanna get crazy with it, you can get a little LED disco light like this one. It shows up different colors in the ceiling. It's cool, it's not too intense, it's fun, and girls like it. I'm telling you man, I've been around the world with this thing and it's never done me wrong. By the way, man, if you're liking this video, then you're gonna love my free video course on conversation. It's all about how to talk to girls and get them attracted to you. All you gotta do is click the link in the description and your email and you'll get instant access to the first video. Number five is a speaker. Now you don't need a fully equipped sound system, but you do at least need a speaker. A music speaker makes things more intimate and it's also gonna block out any outside noises that might be distracting. Now I travel a lot, so I have a small portable speaker from JBL Go. It's the one I use right here. It's tiny, but it bumps and it gets the job done. Now if you're not constantly on the road like me though, you might want to invest in a slightly better speaker system with a little bit of bass, cause that's gonna help set the mood too and really get her feeling it. Number six is a good music playlist. Now you can have the best speaker in the world, but it doesn't matter if you play shitty music. So hop on Spotify and check out some playlists beforehand that are good for hooking up. One of my favorites is actually the Chill Vibes playlist. It has tons of chill, laid back songs that are perfect for setting the mood and hooking up. For you, you might want some hardcore rap or some reggaeton, whatever the case, find a playlist that suits you and make it happen. Just remember, you don't want that one random awkward song to come on and kill the mood. We've all been there before. So number seven is actually a picture of Venice. Just like this one behind me. I'll be honest, bro, six love Italy. 
I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Number seven is actually beer, wine, and liquor. Girls like to drink, bro, and it's a great reason to invite them back to your place. You know, it's always a downer when a girl wants a drink and all you have is like water and Kool-Aid. So as a general rule, you should always be stocked up with at least one bottle of red wine, one bottle of liquor, you know, vodka is a pretty safe bet, and like a pack of six beers. That way, you're always gonna be prepared for whatever she likes. And now, as a side note here, make sure to offer her a glass of water with whatever she drinks. Be a gentleman, bro. And speaking of being a gentleman, that's what number eight is all about. And that is having extra toothbrushes in stock. Listen, man, you want her to feel comfortable if she sleeps over, but you also want to leave the door open for a little bit of morning fun. But that probably won't happen if she's embarrassed of her morning breath. If you get a few cheap toothbrushes on hand, though, then problem solved. Number nine is massage tools. Now, just about every girl likes a good massage. And if you don't know how to give a girl a good sexual massage, then make sure to check out my book, the hookup handbook right here. In it, there's a full chapter about how to give a girl an awesome sexual massage. You get the step-by-step -step and everything, bro. Anyway, man, a few good things you should have on hand so that you're always prepared to give a good sexual massage are scented candles, incense, and massage oil. All right, man, number 10 is kind of obvious, but it's necessary, and that is condoms by the bed. Now, bro, you always gonna come prepared. And that's why you need condoms by the bed, Basically, you want to just keep them in a little drawer by the bedside in arm's reach for whatever kind of crazy stuff happens that night. All right, man, if you can stock up your apartment with these 10 things, then women are going to love coming over and they're also going to be a lot more down to hook up as well. But I want to know from you, what are some must-haves that you think that every bachelor pad should have? Let us know in the comments below. Anyway, guys, I gotta go pack up. I'm about to head over to Cabo tomorrow with my man David from How to Beast, and we're gonna make a ton of videos. So make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss those videos and all the awesome stuff I got coming your way. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.